The fact that you clicked on this video either means that you are a university student, a gamer, or you are here just for the memes. Baba boy. And that's alright, but there's one important rule. Powerful. Simple. Boring. You cannot show up to your lectures with a regular Chromebook. Bringing a fully fledged 5kg gaming laptop also isn't the best idea, so what do you do? You show up with this. A Razer Blade 15 laptop for 400 euros. Sounds pretty impossible, right? Wait till you hear about the specs. 144Hz Full HD screen, Core i7 8750H, so it is a 6 core and 12 thread. 16 gigabytes of DDR4 2666 MHz RAM, Samsung 512 gigabyte M.2 NVMe SSD, and a GTX 1060 6 gigabyte Max Q variant. So how did I got it so cheap? Well, okay, first of all, here's an ad for this laptop, so I'm not making this up. And of course, it has been taken down already because I bought it like two months ago. But basically, it was advertised with a bad battery, dead pixels on the screen, and a couple of cosmetical defects. I contacted the seller and said, yo, if you could sell this thing to me for 400 euros, I'll transfer you the money immediately. And the guy said... When this laptop showed up, I was positively surprised. Yes, it would die the moment I unplugged it, but it was better than described. It even came with a complete album of finest music in North Korea. The shortcomings of the screen were only noticeable on totally black colors, so I decided to leave the screen as is and order just the battery. It cost me 60 euros, but I replaced it myself and boom, a laptop of my dreams for almost half the market price. <laughs> And the build quality of this laptop is just amazing. Of course, mine is a bit scuffed because the previous owner hated it or was a bit clumsy. Cause it's time to go beast mode. But overall, this thing with all aluminum body feels very solid, this RGB keyboard is very intuitive, has plenty of very cool RGB animations on Razer Synapse app with a strong quality feel with every click. The screen is also really good. Razer claims that it is 100% sRGB accurate and that every screen was manually calibrated in the factory. And I believe them. Viewing angles are good, although this is a matte screen so it gets a bit darker when looking at it from the side but no color shifting. And now let's talk about ghosting. And yeah, it is basically non-existent and the response time is also really great. I wish it was a tiny bit brighter, but apart from that, it is just amazing. Portability is also up to the MacBook levels. It is really light and convenient, the hinge is really solid, especially in comparison to the other laptops I've seen. The stereo speakers are also really good for a laptop. Plenty of sound for watching movies while eating chips which crunch louder than Mexican guy screams on Minecraft. <laughs> and now, let's talk about the battery on this thing. A lot of people on the internet mentioned that this model has a battery bulging problem. This laptop was no exception. The old battery looked like a balloon. So keep in mind that every 2 to 3 year period of this laptop life you will need to replace the battery. It was not that expensive but still inconvenient. The battery life itself is okay. On 60Hz without any apps installed it lasted pretty easily throughout my lectures around 8 hours on basic usage. So it is insane but that's where the good things end. When I downloaded Steam, MSI Afterburner and all kinds of different apps, even though they were disabled on a startup and all of these games are stored on my external SSD, the battery life dropped drastically to around 3 to 4 hours of basic use. The gaming performance part was discussed on a different video, so if you care about gaming benchmarks, you should check it out. Link in the description. But I do have to mention that while gaming the laptop was quite loud. And if you put it into performance mode, it would get even louder. 
The temperatures were okay for a laptop on balanced mode, hovering around 90 degrees under load, and not okay in performance mode. The temperatures were constantly above 95, even hitting over 100 degrees on several cores. And also while gaming, the whole body of the laptop got seriously warm, but the specific part of the laptop got dangerously warm to the touch. I do have to mention that the thermal paste was replaced a month ago together with the battery and this was the first time I tried gaming on it, so unfortunately it probably will get even worse in the future. So to sum everything up, here are the pros and cons of this thing. I'll start with the pros, so it has an amazing build quality, a really good screen, great gaming performance, it is really slim and portable, looks very expensive and sleek, the keyboard is very comfortable and intuitive. It has plenty of different ports and the cons being not very reliable battery, the whole body gets really hot while gaming and it is quite loud, the charging brick with cables could take up less space and the whole body is just a massive fingerprint magnet. But yeah, I am really glad that I got this laptop, it is very useful in class and it also works as a great conversation starter. To my surprise, a lot of people in Switzerland never heard of Razer, so they just come up to me and say, what is this glowing thing on the back of your laptop? Where did you find a glowing sticker? And then I have to explain the whole backstory of the brand, but one thing is for sure, it definitely stands out. And in the end of the day, let's be honest, nobody cares about Macs, cheap bastard out. 